Jeff Joseph back with another video. Listen, you see the thumbnail, you see the title, so you already know what I'm about to talk about. But listen, before I do, I just want to say to everyone who has subscribed to the channel, liked the video, supported me in any type of way on this journey, I definitely, definitely really do appreciate y'all. And for anyone who feels like they want to unsubscribe after watching this video, I totally understand. But anyone who wants to subscribe to the channel and like the videos, I definitely appreciate that as well because I will continue to post videos. It just won't be about box trucking or trucking. It's a bittersweet moment, but I'm happy with my decision to leave the trucking industry. There's a whole bunch of reasons why I'm, I'm done with this, this game. But for the most part, I just, you know, see myself doing something completely different now. Um, and this just hasn't been what I expected. And I feel like I owe it to y'all, everyone who has trusted me to be transparent and honest about my experiences. I'm going to continue to do that all the way to the end and go ahead and tell y'all exactly why I'm quitting, why I'm done with this industry and uh, my honest opinion about the industry and where it is and whether or not you should or shouldn't get into the box truck industry. So. Um, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and take this ride back to Houston. It's my last ride. It's a bittersweet. Um, but if you want to find out why, I'll see you in a minute. y'all so check this out it's a whole new day and i made it back to new orleans and um i don't want this video to be super long so i'm gonna just go ahead and jump right into it um, i'm gonna give y'all my top two reasons why i'm quitting the box truck game or why i quit the box truck game because hold on one second but one reason for sure is because the rates are super low um basically the brokers are trash the rates are super low and there's no upside to it right now like everyone that i know is either breaking even every month or um losing money and it's not a good time to be in the box truck game it's just not you know the brokers treat you like trash because they know they pretty much run the show at this point because you know they tell us that the semi trucks can take the same loads and they're taking it at the same rates and then they tell the semi trucks of the 53 footers that um we can take it for cheaper and it's just driving the prices down um there's just more trucks at this point than freight that's being moved in in, in most areas uh especially the area that i'm in but i'm hearing it from my friends and people uh like you guys in my inbox telling me the same different things um that they're the rates are just entirely too low and for a while i was good like for a while i wasn't experiencing that but eventually it caught up with me and it got to the point where I was breaking even. And then just this month, this last month, um, I was negative and then I was done <laughs> because y'all know I'm in this business to make money. And um, I just wasn't trying to, to lose no money. And once I start losing money, it's time to get out. Uh, and you know, I feel like I owe it to all of you who have trusted me to be uh, transparent about everything that I've been going through because I've been honest about every single move that I've made in this industry and um, I'm losing money. And so once I start losing money, it's time for me to get out. And hold on one second, y'all. So once I start losing money, it's time for me to get out because I'm not trying to lose anything at all. So, um, all right, y'all. So I just have to make a quick stop at the bank. Um, I'm just gonna stay here and finish this video because I don't want it to be too long. Uh, but long story short, like I was saying, the rates are just too low and the brokers play too many games. And at this point, once I start losing money, it just doesn't make any sense for me to stay in the business. Shout out to anybody who's still in the game, who's still in the business, in the industry, making money. Um, shout outs to you. I know there's going to be people in the comments or people who in general think that, you know, my business probably wasn't set up correctly or whatever the case may be. I set the business up the best way that I know how. Um, my monthly expenses were very low. And at this point, like I said, if I'm losing money, then it doesn't make sense to me. But shout out to you if you're still able to do it. I mean, some people are, you know, places like Atlanta. Um, it's really good for like Amazon. You can stay local and still make money. Uh, places like Tennessee, Memphis, Knoxville. 
um, those areas you're still able to make to make money you know and and obviously places that's a big trucking community or big trucking cities and stuff like that then obviously yes those places are still making money but down here in the south in louisiana and texas it is almost impossible to make good money and stay local and i'm just not willing to go back over the road it's not something that i want to do for me it's not worth it it's not worth going over the road and being gone for two months at a time just to make you know seven to eight thousand dollars a month that's not enough money in profits and net profits for me but shout out to anyone who's willing to do that because you go over the road you can make a lot of money you can you can if you do it correctly it's just not something that i'm willing to do anymore uh like i said amazon just wasn't cutting it local routes just wasn't cutting it. it's not enough money for the amount of work that you have to do for a nice net profit and on top of everything else in my opinion i feel like the industry is falling apart i feel like every single day there's something new that's happening uh that is just showing that the trucking industry is falling apart that the trucking industry is going into a recession i'm sure other youtubers have probably used this type of language as well but it's it's obvious it's evident that there is something going on and i'm not the one you know to talk about conspiracy theories but there's something going on uh that you know so much so that every single day there's a new regulation that's going on uh, that's coming out the fmcsa is doing this the fmcsa is doing that and for me, it's just too much of a hassle. Uh, it's just not a good time. You know, I've, I've talked to truckers. I've talked to people that I, you know, that I know who have been in the game 20 plus years, 30 years, who are uh, going to do HVAC or going, you know, do electrician work or construction work or something because the industry is falling apart. And I'm sure this is not a permanent thing. And even myself, I might be interested in getting back into the game uh, sometime mid July of 2023. But right now, it's just not a good time. I have to see how everything is going to play out. You know what I'm saying? Fuel prices never came back down. It's just a whole bunch of stuff that's just going on that just doesn't seem worth it to me. And so I'm out the game. Um, it's not something that I would recommend to anybody right now, unfortunately. Uh, I know a lot of people have watched my videos and been motivated by my videos to get into the industry. But um, unless you're willing to go over the road for 24 hours a day, eight days a week, <laughs> then it's not a good time for you to get in the game and make money. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, even if you go back and watch my first video or my first couple of videos, I always maintain that I'm in this industry to make money. And if I don't make money, I can always go back to what I was doing before, which is clinical psychology. And that's what I'm doing now. Um, I'm a dean at a local school here, uh, but this, industry the box truck industry is falling apart so it just doesn't make sense for me to be in it anymore uh, i'm sorry for anybody who has watched my videos and been motivated to get into industry but the industry just took a turn for the worst out of nowhere and i don't know when it's going to recover but i personally cannot run the risk of staying in the industry and losing money day by day it's just not something i'm willing to do so i'm out the game y'all good luck to anybody who's still in the game um, by no means am I saying that you cannot make money. I'm saying that I cannot make money because I am not willing to go over the road. This area is not a good area to, you know, do local runs, um, not with a box truck, at least in my opinion. I don't know. Y'all can comment below and let me know how y'all doing in different areas of the country. Uh, so other people can get an idea, too, of, you know, what's happening other places. I mean, I've talked to people privately and they tell me one thing, but y'all may have a different experience, right? Y'all may have something else that's going on. But from what I'm hearing, the rates are low across the country everywhere. And this particular area that I'm in, South Louisiana, I'm from, you know, from New Orleans, you know, back and forth from Houston and Mobile, Mississippi, Alabama, this area, even Florida, obviously, it's not a good area to run Amazon routes. They're inconsistent. The rates are low there too. And it's just not, it's just not profitable. And that's what it, the bottom line. That's why I say the trucking industry is trash. That's why I'm out the industry. And that's why I will no longer be making box truck videos. But I will continue to make videos for those of you who are interested in money mindset and um, motivation and, and, and manifestations and things like that, then I will continue to make those type of videos. And like I said, maybe in July of 2023, maybe I will be back in the box truck industry. So you just gotta stay subscribed and find out if you don't, 
want to, I understand because this was initially a box truck channel. Uh, so you can go ahead and unsubscribe if you feel called to do so, but I'm still gonna be doing business stuff. I still have other businesses that I'm gonna be talking about on this channel as well. Like real estate, for an example, I'm still into real estate, but I have some big projects that I'm gonna be working on in 2023. So I can share my process. Uh, I can share with y'all my process on those projects as well. So yeah. That's where I'm at. That's what it is. That's it. That's all. The box truck is industry. And your boy Jeff Joseph is out. Comment below your thoughts. Let me know what y'all think. Um, I'm still happy to help anybody who has any questions, concerns, who want to get started. I'll answer any questions like I've always done. But for me personally, I'm done. I'm about to go run some errands. Uh, probably edit this video. Maybe I'll get it to y'all today. If not, you've probably seen this on Wednesday. I got a lot of stuff going on. But I'm about to go ahead and sign out. I'll catch y'all in the next video.